Hey lads, the Incorporeal week is almost over, so it's time to give a rating to this affix and compare it to some of the other ones in the game right now. I had a video last week for the Incorporeal affix spawning in some very peculiar places, which was a bit spicy, and I think deservably so. And big part of that is due to the fact that it is combined with the spiteful affix. The spiteful affix keeps you in combat even after you kill all the mobs, and often you are going to leave the shades behind and move forward. But then, if the incorporeal spawns at this point, they can actually, I guess, spawn from the shades back where you left the shades to die off. This is a pretty bad combination, you can see that incorporeal spawning in the cave behind us in this case, and we also have a vortex pinnacle run where we didn't drop combat up until we actually engaged the first boss. So there we had a wipe from an incorporeal spawning from one of the shades that we left behind. However, this scenario here, fighting magma tusk and wiping because the incorporeal spawned in the other end of the room, I think is something that definitely needs to be fixed. Although it's not clear what would be the easy solution to make sure that the incorporeals are always in range. However, I think this is a very relevant issue that makes the game definitely not fun to play. And I guess that's why many of you said, oh, I'm not playing this week just because I don't want to wipe on something that's just out of range and there's nothing we can do about it. And yes, this is dumb. It happens relatively rare though. And there are more relevant issues connected to the incorporeal that I think we should look at. A minor issue that I'm going to mention, because we actually break the whole key because of it, is that the skills that you're using on the incorporeals are not skills that you use in your base toolkit. This is more of a talent issue because you have to change the talent tree to actually enter the dungeon. This is probably a topic for a whole different video. But we actually break the key because we all enter the dungeon without taking the talents. I was simply in a raid the previous night, so obviously on the left hand side of my tree I didn't have Hex, I didn't have Perch, I didn't have any of those abilities and then I forgot to pick them up before going into the dungeon. It happened so that everybody else in my party did exactly the same thing. So the incorporeal spawned and we just watched them wipe us because there were also other mobs that we had to interrupt. And this is the sad end of the story, we just went out and break the key. And if we agree to say that this is actually a talent issue, even if you take the talents that you need to deal with the incorporeals, the next issue that I have with this affix is that it's not equal for all the classes. There are classes which have basically nothing to deal with or it's very hard to deal with the incorporeals like the warriors. So if they get invited, it's like this affix is not there for them at all, but it's very likely that they will not get invited because they have nothing to deal with this affix. And sadly, this is how the pug world works. At the same time, you have classes like the hunter, which can deal with this affix relatively easily because all it costs for them is just one global cooldown to set out the freezing trap and they're done. They also probably run that spell anyway, so it requires no talent changes for them, while other classes, let's say the Shaman, they need to take a Hex, and if you're an Enhancement Shaman, you actually have to stop and cast, which is something that you don't usually do when you DPS. And lastly, some of those skills are spammable, you can cast them over and over again, while others, like the Freezing Trap and the Hex, they actually have a cooldown. Another funny wipe happened on a boss fight where two of the incorporeal spawned and we all target one of them because it's a bug, right? We don't have the coordination. We all target the same mob, spammed our skills on that mob and because all of our skills had a cooldown, we had nothing left for the second mob and we just wiped. So the bottom line here is that this affix is not equal for all the classes and all the skills. This creates inequality for the different classes, which in the pug world results into either people not getting invited into groups for that specific week, because they're not capable of dealing with its affix effectively, or then deciding just not to play the game for that specific week, which I think it's very very bad, because every time there's something in the game that makes you not want to play the game, that's a very bad design issue, I think. And that brings me to the last and I think the most major issue with this affix. If for whatever reason these beings start to free cast, you basically wipe the whole group and potentially break your key. I think that this punishment is too severe, it's comparable to the thundering for example. And depleting the whole key because incorporeal spawned in the end of the world definitely feels unfair. Now you might say, well, why wipe if one cast goes off? But it's usually the case that if one of the incorporeal cast goes off, it's either because that's very far away or because you overlapped all of your CCs or you didn't notice the spawn. It's one of those things, but once things go south, they go south really bad. And if you compare that to some of the other affixes, that actually feels very unfair. If you get hit by quaking, you're silenced, it's bad, somebody might die, but it's not a necessarily full wipe. 
storming tornadoes might interrupt you, same with the volcanic, they might actually even kill you in some different mechanics on the bosses where you had to move and you couldn't because of them, but this is only you failing and only you potentially dying, not the whole group. You get hit by a spiteful, you're not dead. If you get hit again, yeah, you probably die, but even if you die again, it's only you dying, not the whole group. So basically, I think you can see where I'm going. Failing to deal with the incorporeals wipes your whole group and breaks your key, while some of the other affixes that we have will potentially set you back or even kill you, but those are mistakes that are possibly recoverable, you have a battle rest or something like that. So to me, this is the biggest issue with this affix. The keys are hard enough and engaging enough, so it feels very unfair of wiping and breaking your whole key because you missed one single affix spawn and interrupt. And yes, of course, that doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, it feels really bad, it's comparable to the thundering affix from last season, and as I mentioned previously, and as many of you commented into the comments of my other videos, it just makes you to not want to play the game in this particular week, which I think is very very bad. However, let's mention some positives as well, because this affix, although it's a little bit annoying, it's not as annoying as, for example, as uh, explosives were last season. I think Blizzard did a very good job with the spawn rates and the amount of incorporeals that spawn, as it does feel like this is an addition to the dungeon and you're playing the affix every 40 seconds or a minute and a half, wherever they spawn, but it's not like the explosive where you do that all the time throughout all the dungeon as a healer. And it feels like you're playing a different game for the whole week, which you definitely didn't sign up for, right? So my conclusion at the end is that I don't mind that affix that much, and I think there are very few improvements they can make to actually make it a viable affix that people are not going to hate so much. A possible solution that I have as an idea, that will basically solve all the problems that I enumerated in this video, is to make the incorporeal spawn only to certain players, so they will be visible only to two or the three of the players that they spawn for, so that will make it your personal responsibility to deal with the spawn that is designated to yourself. That will open up the possibilities to change a little bit the way that incorporeals work for different classes. And yes, we'll have to figure out something for, let's say, warriors. But in this scenario, your own incorporeal can spawn on your vocation, which means that it's not going to be Narnia and you'll be in range for it to use whatever skill or CC you have designated for it. If you fail, the punishment will be only on yourself, not the whole party, so potentially it's not going to be a whole group wipe. You only die and eventually you can get battle rest or something. And lastly, you can spread the possibility for dealing with this affix to everybody in the group, instead of designating one person and telling them you deal with this, we're just going to DPS or tank or heal. While at the same time, if you just keep uh, two or three incorporeal spawning at a time, it would make everybody potentially deal with this affix, but it will be less often, because there would be times where the incorporeals would not spawn for yourself. Of course, that's just an idea, the overall rating that I would give to this affix is okay-ish, with a big ish at the end. And I would like to hear your opinions in the comments below, and potentially some of your solutions and some of your ideas which you have about this specific affix. Alright, let's hope that the afflicted affix next week is not going to be as bad as this one, and hopefully we will have much more fun playing with it. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, good luck in your keys.